on because that looks pretty inviting there doesn't it it does what's the status of the station is it green tick or yellow tick or even red x it's yellow tick because there's level access there but not this side from Mr. Pay rather from the machine just there. So this is looking towards Manchester, where we've just come from. And this is looking towards Liverpool. So let's have a little look at this um, rather nice station. Whatever it is here, we'll get through. Ah, here we are. Easy as that. shall we? This is excellent, isn't it? Just how a railway station should be. And summary departure board there. And a nice little scon and a cup of tea there. So uh, let's um, head down this way. Some nice flower baskets and everything here. Yeah, lovely as well. It's brilliant. Or well, some interesting information there about the station, probably. Berlin carries a heritage. So just pause it if you want to read any of it. Because Caddy's heading is not very far away from where we're uh, going to be walking. Fountains, drinking fountain. That is obviously this, but it obviously doesn't work now. 1872, good grief. Right. There was a little play train here. A seat. Got to sit in there. Don't we? Got to sit in there. Oh, station subway. Oh, this is probably part of it, then. Isn't it? Get the train. Oh, James. Where's it going, James? Looks like it's a railway signaling a mile post. I think the semaphore on the lower quadrant semaphore. to start view ranger so i better just pause this a moment and wagon. wagon another little wagon as well here <coughs> right let's keep going Station Park. This is ace, is this? Just look at it. Uh, I think we'll get go down here. Let me see when we can get to the road down this way. Habitation tracks. Ah, look at this. Erlum, you are absolutely fantastic. Never know a station quite like this.
There's some semaphore signals at the end of this path, <coughs> which you'll see very shortly. Looks like you're going into a heritage railway. <coughs> so, Earlham, tick. Look at that. It just reminds me of Bridge North, that Seven Valley. It does. It's absolutely fantastic. Right, let's head through the town. Uh, Liverpool Road down there, I think it was. And uh, cutting the grass here. I've turned around this way, look at the road here. It's uh, a bit uneven. And that sign there, which, which is facing the wrong way up, is that it says unsuitable for HGV. You don't say. I mean, look at this, there's some serious subsidence here, isn't there? land movement. I think even a pushback it to be a bit awkward. Look how rough it is. Now that we're taking. I hope it's not majorly boggy and filthy but we'll see. Just on this next corner. Lovely weather for September. get all the way back home we'll probably just do it back into Manchester so phone is reasonably well charged so we'll get we'll get most of it walked across there and through that stile so uh, we're going down here now through this stile and I think we're turning left towards Glazebrook look out here and you think you're so close to Manchester <coughs> anyway there's a plane it's probably just taken off from Manchester Airport too far away. Anyway, never mind. We're not really here to spot planes. But never mind, we'll go left. Right, so that's looking down 
Lawrence or whatever it is. It says left or right. Right. Down this way we go. Do a track. Grass cutting or something, or weeding, or whatever, there with a trimmer. And we're going down this way. Not far, I don't think, now to cross in the main line where we uh, were earlier, or will be soon rather, a bit later, sort of thing. Oh, look at the car park here. I think this is Caddy's Head Farm here, unless it's the one back down there. Anyway, let's uh, keep going. Looks like a nature trail somewhere over there, doesn't it? Near Moss Wood. Uh, going down this way. So, could you imagine living there? That looks like slower Stanley Banker Farm. Is that? Very nice. Still, anywhere is nice, isn't it, in weather like this? Look at the trees there, though. It's all poplar trees. I think that's what they are. Right, I was right. It is a bridge over the railway because we're just coming up to it now. Now is that a oh, it's nurses? I thought it might be. This is a garden centre of sorts. I'm time to go around it though. I'm just go up at railway nine now here. So let's have a look at the uh, eastbound side first. The Manchester side. Uh huh, there we are. And this is looking towards Lime Streets. That is Glazebrook East Junction box down there. The white single box. Uh huh, looks like so much due because it's a green light. There it is. Right, this is uh, Manchester Oxford Store Service from Liverpool Lime Street. Thought we'd just get a train here while we're passing. Right, let's keep going. Grab my stuff down there from that bridge, and we're going up here and over the the branch that used to serve the tar works and I think it used to have gone through towards Altrincham and Partington at one time years ago Is it disused I wonder? We shall soon see. I think it might be, judging by all the trees that are here. Can't see anything down there at all. Looks like there might have been a few, few tracks here at one time. This is unreal. Is it the last last bit? Oh, it's so overgrown as this, it's ridiculous. You can't see any track anywhere, it's that badly overgrown. Oh dear. It's worse than the trout's finish line. Yeah, it's all fenced off. Oh, it's disused crack. It looks like the track's been lifted, mostly. <coughs> right, well, unfortunately, the uh, battery level on this on my phone is very low. I forgot to charge it. Charge the iPad, but not the phone. So we'll have to use the iPad for the next bit once we get past Blazebrook. Let's come to the get there, Ginnell there between the houses. A lot of open space here for whatever. 
chilling, exercising dogs and all that. We're going over this little footbridge now, up to the right, and we're almost at Glazebrook. So we've ticked our second station today when we get to Glazebrook. Let's hope the train's okay. It's a bit more than just a trickle of water, is this, isn't it? Hmm, decent bit of a flow to it as well. Anyway, up to the right. We're not very far off Blazebrook. Just up here to the left. You'll see very shortly. Blazebrook Meadows. That's handy. We find a decent service at the train station. Should have at least one an hour. It should. We've got roughly half an hour here before the trainer uh, towards Liverpool comes. It's actually two hours behind than we got off at to tell them. There you go, more cyclists. First, we need to be back down that side anyway. Right, there's the station. So, we want this side to the left, which is the main platform. Let's just have a look at this side first. See what status it is. I think it might be green tick. I'll just check. Manchester, this side. Yes, it's uh, it's green tick. Well, I assume the other side is step free, so I think it might be. Right. Here we are, Glazebrook. I'll walk over to the other side, then I'll stop the Ranger. I just thought I'd, uh, you know, check out this side first before we move over to the other side. Yeah, yeah we're down there. You can just see the, yeah, you just see the bridge in the distance where we were. So the Liverpool side now. I don't believe this. There's no machine at this side. I find that rather strange. Expecting passengers to have to use that one on the other side and then go over. Unless I missed it and it is over here, but that is really bad. Anyway, station's green tick. Step free access to both sides. So we'll tick it as soon as the train comes. New train coming through now. Room 95, I think it is. I think that's the service that's taken the path of the old Trans Pennine. Right, this is our train on to Birchwood. Hopefully the battery will last, it's very, very low. So just one stop to Birchwood on this one. We'll take Birchwood. 